Actress and director Bonnie DiCepolo is in a profession that values youth. But her determination to delay menopause is not just a business decision. Your life is on a great trajectory, and then you hit this, and then there's a cascade of negative health impacts. I mean, it just, it, it, it looks like a cliff. Falling into a world of hot flashes, night sweats, and mood changes. Did your mom and your grandmother have health problems that you associate with menopause? My grandmother and my aunt both broke hips, and my mother has been complaining about it for 20 years. And Bonnie's frustrated by what she says she's heard from too many doctors. Most doctors will say, oh, it's, it's normal, it's healthy, you know, you can't fight it, you shouldn't fight it. But I would say, you know, uh, erectile dysfunction is normal and healthy, and men want to fight that. Do you think menopause has been ignored by the medical community? I think women have been ignored by the medical community. Now researchers at the Columbia University Fertility Center are trying to delay menopause. Dr. Zev Williams' target is a woman's ovaries. The ovary for so long has been viewed just as a source of eggs, but we really now appreciate that this little organ does so much more in terms of the woman's health and well-being. What else does it control or what else does it impact? The hormones from the ovary have an impact that goes as wide as how the patient feels, the skin and appearance and wrinkles, and protecting the heart and cardiovascular disease and dementia. Will it make women healthier? The hope is, and this is what's so dramatic about this, that it's, there is a potential that if we can delay menopause, we can actually not only delay a lot of the negative symptoms that can come with menopause, but delay a lot of the negative consequences from it. Including infertility. So how are you trying to delay menopause? By really tapping into the rate at which eggs get used up in the ovary. I think most people realize that a woman is born with all the eggs that she'll have and that those eggs get used up as she ages. And once all the eggs are used up, that's when menopause occurs. To slow the number of eggs a woman releases each month, Williams is using rapamycin, traditionally an anti-rejection drug for transplant patients. Does delaying menopause increase cancer risks? This is something that we don't think will occur, but like with every intervention that we do, we're gonna to have to closely monitor. Bonnie is one of 100 women between the ages of 35 and 45 in the double-blind study. Half take five milligrams of rapamycin once a week for three months. The other half gets a placebo. They are monitored for a year. So far, Dr. Williams says there are no adverse effects. And though Bonnie doesn't know if she's gotten rapamycin, she says her sleep and energy levels have improved and her skin looks even better. Anything that will help women have more agency, more control over their bodies, more choice, not having to say, like, I have this narrow window from 25 to 35 where I have to make my whole career, get established, get a house, find a mate, and raise a family. That's a very small amount of time that we are asking modern women to do everything. Now, Dr. Williams expects the study to be completed and published in about a year and a half. They are still enrolling women. And now the big question is whether or not rapamycin could become the standard of care for women in the 35 to 45 age range that want to delay menopause. Not, and not just for fertility, but for a whole range of your, issues. For your general mm -hmm. health. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Yep. Okay. Thanks, Thank Anne. you, Anne. That's Thanks fascinating. So Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.